Vince, how you doing? Ron Bumblefootball here. Hope you're doing okay. Hope everything is all right. Uh, so you asked me uh, what I thought about Ingve Malmsteen. I mean, hell, he was a game changer. Absolute game changer. Before him, uh, I mean, th there was Eddie Van Halen. There, there were some guitar players out there doing some great shit. Uh, Vi was rising up. You had Eddie, you had Holdsworth, you had so many great dudes. But in the rock world, as far as that, you had, as far as incorporating classic, there was Uli, who was doing a, a, quite a bit of that. And you had Randy Rhodes that was taking true guitar classical music and bringing it into, into metal. But Ingrid was the first one to just raise the bar so high. And I'll never forget when I first heard that Steeler album with his solo, the, the, the acoustic one. And I immediately had to just try and learn it. And I still remember it. And it cranks it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, great stuff. And then uh, Alcatraz. Um, I was a huge, you know, I always say was, I am a huge Ingve fan. You can try to get the, get his both parts together. He's going. So remember it. How is it that I can't remember my own damn songs, but I could remember that? Uh, so anyway, yeah, and then when, you know, Marching Out and Rising Force and everything, when that came out, it was just incredible, just such great stuff. And the other one before the solo what was it a uh, um, boom craziness craziness uh, oh wait try and get the bass in there Yeah, great, great, great stuff. Love Inve. Uh, yeah, it was uh, actually toured with him for five weeks in 2014. That was a blast. <laughs> Crazy memories. Very fun guy to hang with. Always telling jokes, and, and it was cool. Uh, and then you also asked me, what's it like to play with Mike Portnoy? Well, imagine playing with you know one of the greatest drummers in the world. It's pretty damn cool. And nothing is unplayable. Like, you know, anything you can come up with can be played. It's wonderful. I had this crazy riff that was in 19. It was like... He's playing it. Uh, whatever else. You know, as we're writing the stuff and coming up with all these crazy... Ooh, she turned down. Sons of Apollo tuning.
switching this and then. Oh, tune down. Sounds like Apollo tuning. And 15. So pretty much anything wacky you could come up with, you got yourself you know, a kick-ass drummer. Uh, so, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've been lucky. I've gotten to play with a lot of, a lot of great drummers. Uh, I play now with a guy named Kyle Hughes, who's phenomenal. Uh, Jan Ray Luzier from Korn, incredible. Uh, some great, great drummers. And Mike is, you know, he's top of every list. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for your questions. And <laughs> I hope everything is okay. And I look forward to seeing you when the planet reopens its doors and we can all see each other again. Until then, be safe, be happy, be healthy, be helpful, uh, be good. All right, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.